guys, I'm back with another video, and in this video I just show you the look I'm wearing right now. This is kind of like my signature go-to look. I always love rocking the grayish lip and kind of like a light smoky eye whenever I'm going out and I don't really know what I want to do, or it's just... I don't know it's just like my signature look so anyway so I just sped this up and just did a quick get ready with me so yeah let's get on with the tutorial okay so I'm gonna take the Too Faced Hangover RX and put that all over my face I just got this you guys oh my god I am so in love with it it makes my skin so nice then I'm taking the Best Damn Beauty lip mask and putting this on all over my lips. I am in love with this stuff too. Sorry, my eating. Then I'm going to spray my face with the Fix Plus in Lavender. Then I'm taking the L'Oreal Miracle Blur and I'm going to pop that primarily on my forehead and then underneath my eyes. Sorry, the sun was bothering me so much, so fixed it and then I'm just going to kind of blend it all out so it's not like clumpy. Then taking the Born This Way foundation, I am in the shade Light Beige. I'm going to dab that all over my face with my finger, getting a good amount on my face. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and just blend that out. I love this foundation. I already mentioned this in my favorites, but this along with the Too Faced um, Hangover Primer is like magic. It's so beautiful. I'm so in love with the combination. Then I'm going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in N, I believe NC20, 20, I want to say putting that underneath my eyes and you know the usual highlighting places and then gonna just blend that out with my beauty blender this alone gives me a nice bright look then I'm gonna go in with the sorry the shadow popped out I'm gonna go in with the naked three palette but I'm just gonna take two colors from there but the first one I take is limit and I take this Morphe fluffy brush and I kind of just buff that into the crease. I don't do anything precise. This is just a transition color. And this is just like a nice mauve color. Then I'm going to take that color on the end called Strange. Sorry, can't read. Strange. And I'm going to put that on my brow bone. Then going in with the Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow and Camel, I'm going to take my E25 from Sigma and I'm going to put that on the inner corner, outer corner, not inner corner, outer corner of my crease and just kind of bringing that kind of over but not really, but just kind of concentrating it on the side. We're just going to start to build that color on the corner. This is like a really simple smoky eye, I'm telling you. It really is. You just can't go crazy with blending. That's what I found my problem was way back in the day. Then I'm going to take Embark by MAC, and that was just in a palette I have, but it's Embark by MAC. And I'm going to take this little tiny brush, and I'm going to start building the color where I put down Camel. So I like to use a little brush with dark colors first just to set down the color. And then I like to take a fluffy brush and blend them out. Then I'm going to take this Morphe brush and just, I just do circular motions right where I put the color. Don't go crazy. That was my problem before. Then taking this Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick and Almond, I am going to, oop, I got it in my hair. I'm going to contour my face. Got to find that cheekbone. And I'm just going to cream contour because I really like the bronze look that this foundation stick gives all on its own. And then I'm going to take the Real Techniques stippling brush and just blend that into my skin. I like to take the, uh, the foundation stick on my cheek higher than where my cheekbone is because I tend to blend it downward. So if you put it a little bit above where you're where your cheekbone actually is, I find it to be perfect, or at least on me. And then gotta blend out that chin. This really gets rid of my double chin. 
Then taking the two light colors in the shade Light Palette from Kat Von D, I'm just setting my under eye. And then I'm going to take my Airspun powder. I'm obsessed with this. And I'm going to use the puff that it comes with because, I don't know, I like to use it. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. The puff does a great job. Then taking Milani Luminoso, you know this, I love it. Pop that on my cheeks with this Real Techniques blush brush. Then taking this Morphe, I believe this is the E1, I'm not sure, but I'm going to buff this all into my face. This is just such a huge brush that I love for buffing. And then I put on lashes here, but I end up taking them off because they were too obnoxious, so just keep that in mind. But I'm going to take Embark and run that underneath my lash line with a little brush. Just a little one. And then I'm going to take this fluffy brush and blend it out. Then I also dip it in Camel just to give it a little bit more of a smoky effect. Okay, see I took off the lashes. Yeah, too much. And I'm going to put on the Coco Lashes in Misha. Misha. Then taking that strange color, I'm going to just highlight my inner corner once again. Oh no, not once again. I didn't do it before. And then I'm going to highlight my face because I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to take Champagne Pop, you know, and just cover myself with it because it's so beautiful. Just all over. Never too much. Then I'm going to line my lips with the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Tootsie. This is such a great garage color. I love it so much. I overline my top lip a little bit as well and I color it in. Like my all my lips in. I color it with the pencil. And then put on lower lash mascara because I forgot. So we got to do that. And then I'm taking my favorite, favorite liquid lipstick from Aromi, and this is in the color Desert Taupe. This liquid lipstick is amazing. I mentioned it in one of my favorites. It is vegan, and it smells amazing, and it doesn't feel harsh on your lips. It's wonderful. I said that really weird. Yeah, so that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.